Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Funkable on how to create a basic soundboard. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new app and give it a name. So we're going to call this soundboard. And then we're going to give it a category. We'll just choose education, but you could obviously choose entertainment as well. And we make sure that the drag and drop build up box is unticked. Then we click create. Okay, so now we've got our screen. The first thing we're going to want on here is a button, which you can found, find here, bottom left. And we're going to need some sounds to trigger if we click on the button. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here under design. You can see here, if I scroll all the way down, we can choose a file. Now, I've chosen some Star Wars sounds, and I've got them from this website here. It's called soundboard.com. So soundboard.com, and I just clicked on Star Wars Sounds, and I was then able to come down here and download some sounds that I liked just by clicking on the download button. Now, once you've downloaded some sounds that you want to add to your soundboard app, you click on choose a file, and you will be able to navigate through your uh, down to your downloads folder, if that's where you've saved it, and select the file. You just double click on the file you want, and if you've done it right, it will say asset added. Okay, so now we've got a sound. Now, what we're going to want to do next is make sure we can play our sound. So, what we're going to do is come over to the blocks tab, and basically, we're going to have when we click on the button, you know, we want something to happen. So, the first thing to do is get when button one clicked and uh, do something basically. So if we go back to design now we want to make sure we're able to play a sound so we're going to click down here onto sound and just drag it onto the phone and you'll see if you've done it right you've got a little icon saying sound here. Okay. Now we can switch back to blocks and we've got this new tab here for sounds and we can say now that when the button is clicked, we want to be able to call sound one and play. So we pull that one in there. Now we also need to set the sounds source. So we want to say what we're going to play basically. So I'm going to pull this in here and do that. So it's going to say when you click the button, set sounds one source to the sound file you've uploaded and we also need to make sure it stops when it finishes so we just simply go back to the sound one tab here and we say call sound one to stop and drop it in there now basically <laughs> that's it for a basic one you've now got a fully functioning um, soundboard it doesn't look particularly special at the moment but it will actually work so if we preview it and click the button I'm not afraid you will hear the sound playing so well done, you have just created a basic sound app. Now there's lots of other things you can do to make this a lot more interesting, of course. We are just, you know, got something very basic here. We can click back on the main screen, you know, we can change the background colour to black potentially, just to, you know, make it a little bit more interesting. We can click on the button here, we can change the background colour of the button to red potentially. Now it's starting to look a bit better. Um, we can also do a background picture. If we click on here and click on Upload Files, you can go and find yourself a image that you like the look of online. I've just kind of got myself a Star Wars one, and I've just now set the background picture to my Star Wars. You won't see it in this page, but when you click on Preview, you will find it appears. And there we go, in my button, I now have Star Wars in the background. I mean, you know, that doesn't look great. But there's lots of things you can do here. So I'm just going to take that off for a minute and go back to edit. Get rid of that. So if you want to, you can do background pictures on your buttons, but just make sure you're not obscuring the text. Um, this one was a sound clip called Afraid. So I can also change the text in here to Afraid. That now appears as well. Um, I've clicked onto the button here. 
but I can also just go back to screen one, click on there, and I should also be able to now set, you can see here it's on screen one, I can now set the background picture to Star Wars for the whole screen, not just the button, that's something else you can do. And obviously I also don't want it taking up the whole screen, so I can change here to, uh, where are we, vertical alignment, horizontal alignment, there we go, resize mode, and I can select contain. Now, if we set contain and we preview, now it looks a lot better. So I've got my button, I've got a background picture. We now know we can make a picture on our button as well if we wish to, and we can just add more buttons. Um, so we can make a lot more. Now you might also want to um, move the buttons around. There's various ways you can do this. I would probably recommend though, you put in now um, some rows and columns potentially. So if we just go to on our add components list and we find columns here somewhere here we go so I'm gonna put a row in first and drop that down the bottom and you'll now see that's dropped to the bottom I can also put some columns into this and what that will allow me to do it will allow me to kind of subdivide things up a little bit better um, so now if we preview I've got this here but if I want to I can move the button there I can go preview and it's there. Now if I want to add another button in, I can drop it into another row or column just to make things you know, easier to place on the screen. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that brief tutorial today. And now you can go away and make your soundboard. You can obviously just carry on adding buttons. And you know, when you add a new button, it's a quick little cheeky hack is you can duplicate this you've now got that. When you've got a second button, you can choose button two here. You can change the source here to a different sound and you can just very rapidly build up a really cool uh, mood board. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial.